What we've started to do, though, is we've defined a very clear process for the repair guys. You know, before it was a little uh, unclear about when and how do you flip it, how quickly do we get the replacement guy in there. We've played right. that up this year. Um, Senior and I, you know, uh, on the leadership team, you know, that's a discussion point we've had because, again, at the end, we want it. Service is still the heart. So I don't necessarily want to incentivize the repair guys just to be pushing everyone to replacement. We really do want to repair that roof, get them in King to care for three or four or five years, extend the life of that roof. Because even on the, the residential side, if we do that for two, three, four, five years, when it comes to replacement, we're going to we're gonna get that at a 70, 80 percent uh, uh, likelihood. And we got what's, repairs up front for the first couple of years. What's the key been to managing that so they're not just flipping jobs to make money? Like, how, is it, has there been like a checklist in terms of you have to do every single thing here or you have to give them X amount of repair options and then say, you, you're, you know, we also, you know, make them say, how about a replacement? I mean, what, what's your process like? It's, it's a lot simpler than that. It's okay. pretty, we run our company on core values yeah. and that's, that it's really that simple. Integrity is one of our core values. We care. It's one of our core values. Um, so if they're not doing the right thing by our clients, they're not going to be working here very long. And, yeah. and our number one goal, our our vision and focus is to make roofs last longer. So whenever we can do that, we do it. Once in a while, the on the residential side, they almost have to talk us into, if we think we can buy them two or three years, they almost have to talk us into, hey, I'm getting a new roof no matter what. It's going to be from you guys or somebody else before we flip back over to the replacement thing. I bet that's helped your closing percentage because people are like, these guys, they got to be honest. They're not digging for the, you know, the new roof right away, which most roofing contractors do. So that has to help. Well, I'll give you an example. We brought on a gentleman this year that, hey, he's been a long time roofing salesman. He's worked for some big, uh, well-known nation national brands. Yep. And the single biggest thing he loves about coming here, you know, they were buy or die. You know, you're going to get them or you're going to get most money. No matter what, and if they don't buy that night, who cares? And one of the things that he's really taken to is he's like, I love that I can come out to a homeowner, and if you don't need a replacement and I just can sell you 10 feet of a ridge vent because that's all you needed, I can do that. You know, if the right thing is to take you through an insurance claim, I'm not going to beat you over the head with a retail. I'm going to take you over. I'm going to take you through the insurance claim. But I think the closing rates have done well simply because, as my dad says, you know, we really do run it by core values. And at the end of the day, you know, we want, we, we care. We approach every group as if it were our own. And if you do that and you live that out, good things happen and, and can sense that in the sales environment. Authentic yeah. sells. 